British Rail have, in fact, solved many of their problems during the past few years. Not all of them, as most travellers know. But our railways network is certainly taking on a slicker, more streamlined appearance. Diesel and electric have taken over from the age of steam. Still dotted about the country are relics of that romantic age. But they're disappearing rapidly, victims of the oxyacetylene torch. Old steam engines cut apart for the melting pot, raw material for the throbbing power packs, which now pull much improved carriages along the permanent ways of Britain. There are many who mourn the passing of the steam train. Those great engines with great names that broke speed records and made small boys gasp. One of them was the Flying Scotsman, still very much alive and flying the flag for Britain. The world's most famous railway engine was off to America on a trade-boosting mission. From a Liverpool dockside, she was hoisted aboard a cargo liner for the Atlantic crossing. On the other side, the engine, which was rescued from the scrap heap, will follow a 2,200-mile route showing the people of the United States carriage loads of British goods. For six weeks, the Flying Scotsman will steam from Boston to Houston, giving American locomotive fans the treat of their lives. With her by British cargo, the Scot is expected to attract millions of visitors. Who said the age of steam was dead?